It's recording. All right, guys. Three, two, one. Zero. Zero. Okay. Look at today's task. You are given a three-dimensional picture of the Hold the most water. Talk in your groups. What is your prediction, and how do you think you could find out for sure? What do you think? Do you guys have any predictions? In order to find out the volume of a cylinder, you do not need to multi or divide by two. I agree. Do we have any predictions over here? Yes, we think that um, glass number one. Glass number one? Okay, why do you guys think this? I guess you're a teenager, but the directions were to focus on the conversation that I'm having with the kids. Oh, oops. I feel like I'm focusing on their pores. No. <laughs> right? Right, guys? All right. Maybe. So I heard a lot of good conversation oh. and some screaming. For the rest of it, I think we probably have to take it down a little bit. You're really excited. I love your enthusiasm. Love you guys. Mean it. But you also have to be able to hear it. So what are you thinking? Well, first of all, anybody want to offer their prediction? What do you think, Reese? Glass one. Glass three? Oh, I thought you said the last one. All right, so Reese is thinking that glass one is going to hold the most water. Raise your hand if you agree with Reese. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, we can stop the lesson sure. now. You all kind of figured it out. Let's go. It's a beautiful day outside. Yeah. Very. All right, in this table, I was hearing some information about what we're finding. If I, did I give everybody one? Except for you, Cole. Uh, you don't I, get extra learning. You already got your learning, okay? All right. Cool. All right, so what do we need to know in order to determine which one will actually hold the most? See, Ryan? Okay, we just need the straight to the volume. Okay, so Ryan's thinking we're going to need to know the volume. So if you guys see across the top of your paper, it says we will be problem solving using blank blank. Uh -huh. Volume. You just find out the radius and the height Yeah, well radius and height, but then you're still finding volume. volume. So those two blanks, you can put in volume formula. You found the mystery. All right, so the first thing that we need to do, if we need to know, what did you say? Radius and height. Radius and height. Well, nothing's labeled. Do you know how Montgomery County never does anything to scale? Yeah. Yeah. But you know how I'm an artist? That's what I'm saying. And I know how to use a ruler. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And things are measured in centimeters because we pretend like this is Europe. I measured everything in centimeters. It is drawn to scale. Get what you need to figure that out. Hi, How's it going? Good. Good. You can get people's faces now. In no no photos. <laughs> Make them talk about. No photos. No photos. Make them talk about their knowledge. Their yeah. Knowledge. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna wait till people like actually measure. You can it, and then you, you can push pause if nothing's happening. Okay. At any point. Video. Okay. Okay. So what do we be measuring? The bottom of the or the middle? What would be where the axis is? Okay, so based on my picture, I'm an artist, but I'm not perfect, okay? So the bottom is actually straight in the middle of this line. So you can use your size, the straight size, as your measurement, okay? 
Alright, this is good. No. Oh, really? And you're Did we learn how to measure a glass there? A what? Did you learn how to measure a glass? No, what? You can measure anything you want to measure. Oh, you can be the dream. Be your whole authentic self, okay? There can only be one Highlander. It's a show from the 90s. Do you have another question? So what are you guys picking on here? This one is 3.5 from X Shadow Gang Centimeters, right? That is a total of six. Oh. Where did 3.5 come from? The radius. The radius is three. Half of six. Half of six. Put in the calculator. Don't think about it. Put it in the calculator. Half of six. Type in the word half. H A L F. Then space O F. Six. What is the answer? Yeah, sorry. Good. See, I told you they were brilliant. Wait, but, but look. I mean, leaving our answer in pie. Oh, I think you're a little bit over there. Oh, because you're it starts right there. I mean, do you think in pie in this Do you think that if you leave it in pie, it's gonna tell us what we need to know about volume? Yeah. Where are all of these going to be in terms of pie? Okay, then you can certainly leave them in pie. Alright. 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 So it's, it's easier. This is where I drew the straight line. This one's a little bit off, right? So I was just like, I'll use this top one. Okay, but you're right. It kind of looks like a cookie. Alright. So, one, zero. Did we get measurements yet? Yes. 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 It all worked out. So it is six. And what about the height? Jocelyn? It is? Let's find out. Ooh. And don't you dare come up here and start erasing things. This is like a scratch off. I feel like there's one something. That is also six. Do I need to know the stem height? No. Why? Because we're all Alright, what about my second figure? Oh, gosh. Is it what's, on my here? what's the radius? What's our height? What's the shape? Okay, I just sort of half. It's a half of a sphere. Where is this? What part of this is a half a sphere? The bottom of it. And did you guys find the height of that portion? What is it? Wait, well, I found the right angle, just the height is six. Is the second one. Is this rectangle, this part? No, the general. Or like this. Like, the rectangle. It should be six. No, like, this part here. Oh, that? You're saying 3.5? Okay. Did you guys get 3.5 or what? Or, okay, did you measure the side yet? Everybody double check your size. Make sure it, it really is half of the sphere that you're measuring. This is, you have it, right there. Let's see what they're doing. <laughs> All right, so what, what is your size here? You guys found three? Uh, yeah. Okay, radius three. And this, what about this height? What about this? That's three. That's also half. Yeah. Okay. So that makes sense. So what is this portion representing? Oh, I'm looking uh, at half, 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 half circle four and radius. Okay. So what are you going to apply? What's your What's your method for trying to find how much that's going to hold? Okay. So volume is here divided by two. It is a height of three on the top part. I think you guys need to remeasure that. Okay, take it from the line that goes in the middle. Ava, this line, 
thirds. Start from there. The line at the very top. So that line that goes across started here. And then measure what that depth is. Okay, but that's the only one I started off with a square and then I created a circle around it. I'm an artist, so. So it actually is. Let's just make sure we have the right measurements. No, it's just zoom in. Rich is rich. He's rich in so many things. That's not a good one. <laughs> All right. You can just go around and start interviewing people that you think are interesting, meaning everyone. Hey, how's it going? About the work. <laughs> Am I actually on it? Yeah. Answer to figure out what that height is. Okay, did you trick? Do you want to try that? Alright, so Brian, you're gonna. 